Mr. Newton John. Is that. Oh, Newton John. Oh, first of all, oh, please. <laughs> Get out. You, oh, you, you always hope that they'll look terrible backstage. You know, there's always like, you can no say the chance. camera's kind to them. The, uh, Olivia Newton John and John Travolta, two of the biggest stars, got together five years already. Five years ago in Greece, which was the, one of the largest money makers at that time. They are now doing another movie together called Two of a Kind. They've just released an album called, again, Two of a Kind with Olivia Newton John and John Travolta on it. And would you please help me introduce? They're such a great looking couple and nice and bright and witty and talented, and it breaks my heart. Mr. John Travolta and Miss Olivia Newton John. <laughs> together you know that you look are you an item <laughs> no but well, you're holding yes. hands to begin with because we're nervous we're shaking, sure we're shaking much no but certainly like, because you like dark-haired men yes right but i've always read about you and you i know like blonde ladies right <clears throat> so uh, <laughs> Sure. Tease, tease, tease. Yeah, break that, <laughs> I'm holding myself back for Sylvester Stallone. Did he mention me, by the way? Oh, he adores you. I know, he should. Did I surprise you that night? For those of you, uh, did you know what happened? We had, uh, what is his pet name? Sly. Yeah, well, I try to pretend like I know him. We had <laughs> Sly on. <laughs> and the whole family stone and Sylvester Stallone. And, uh, he came on and John, we did not know, was coming on the show. And you came out from backstage and went scooting around back there and jumped up there. I thought I was going to die. I know. He fired his bodyguard, unfortunately. <laughs> well, sure, because you could have been a, a crazy person. You know. But it was a real surprise, though, right? Oh, did you see it afterward? Because I watched the tape that night. Yeah, well, you never know. I wonder if it's really a surprise or you sort of knew or something. No, if I had sort of known, I would have gone like, ah, I did not. <laughs> ah, ah! Security! So that, you know. Do you play those kind of surprises a lot on Friends? Never. It's the first time. And I hope the last. Last. <laughs> yeah. So now tell me about the two of you. Enough with that. Let's get right to this. You're still holding hands and you're no longer nervous. No, no, no. I'm not stupid. I've got a break. <laughs> Nor is he. <laughs> Olivia's more calm about doing these shows. I get very nervous doing these shows. How it's can you be nervous? You're sitting with a know. best friend, as it they helps. say. It helps. It yeah, helps. Yeah, pretty good friends. You're, well, are still... you good friends? Yeah, very good friends. When did you become good friends? Um, and how good? From... <laughs> Do you call... Oh, you don't want to know? It's true. <laughs> then don't give me all. Oh, if you don't want to know, we'll talk about the movie. All right, now. <laughs> all right, I'll tell you. Yes, tell us. We, actually, we became good friends during the making of Grease because both of us... I mean, it was a new experience for me to do a film. And John was incredibly helpful to me during the making of the film. And he'd been going through some personal problems, and so had I, so we, we became friends. We're both really. virgins, you see. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> Wait, we'll find what out when they change. That's, did you help each other through that awkward step? <laughs> Isn't it hard? Seriously, seriously. Because um, it's very hard with two people. With two, when two people are so attractive, you two right. are very good looking, and you're both each other's type, to be thrown together so much. Seriously, do you ever find, like, if not necessarily the two of you... If you didn't know this, we are welded at the hand. <laughs> but did you ever, like, have romantic thoughts about Olivia? A little bit? Yeah, did you, did you, did you? Sure. And what happened? No, no, in, in all honesty, in all, in all honesty, yeah, of course it's none of your business what no. actually happened. No, no, <laughs> no, would I want to pry? No, I know that. Uh, but what but happened? I had admired Olivia oh and, and vice versa before we ever met. Yeah. And uh, I, I highly recommended her for the, the co-starring part in Greece because I had a, a bit of a crush on her. But, you know, like, as history has itself, we were both involved with different people, so... It just never... That's why. Never happened. What about you? Did you ever have... 
Because it can happen at different times. We could do it on this show. You could, <laughs> you could make a great announcement. <laughs> did you ever have a crush on John? Or like a little crush, you're on location. Of course, of course I did. Yes, of course. Because you're going out now, and we won't go into it, but you're going to a uh -huh. young man, right, who's mm -hmm. younger than you. Mm -hmm. But you look so young, so how old is he? He's got to be 12. <laughs> He's, I'm 35. You look He's wonderful 25. for 35. Thank you. Yeah, how old are you, Joan? 13. 13. <laughs> That's good. That's very funny. <laughs> we'll be right back after this commercial, so please stay tuned. <laughs> and you say you're nervous. We are back. Back, talking with... <laughs> talking with Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta. Now, the two of you are sitting here, and you're like... A candy box, you know what I'm saying? You, like, like the great American couple, you like to mate you and sell the children, we can make a fortune. But <laughs> was it, wouldn't, wouldn't they look great, their kitties? But, and, and, Doc just told me, by the way, I had the right to marry anybody as host of the show. Is that correct? <laughs> said, but was there ever a time when you wanted somebody that rejected you? Was there ever a time, like in high school, that you had a crush that some girl didn't like oh, you back? Sure, I think uh, several situations. Give us one. Cheer us up. <laughs> well, um, when I was uh, I was 12, uh, there was a girl. Oh, uh, it's too disgusting. You don't oh, go on. <laughs> Try us. I got I got sick of my shoes, and she called me Revolting Travolta from that point. <laughs> on. And, uh, I had a crush on her, and she never uh, she never was interested after that. Well, when you get sick in your shoes, you know. <laughs> turn you off. Uh, how are your shoes off? What? Your shoes had to be off for you to uh, get sick no, of them. No, no, no. Uh, there was a desert boots. Remember desert boots? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> but what about you? Did you ever... Yeah, I had a crush on um, a footballer at my school, and he didn't want to know about me. Can anymore. you say the name? No, I'd rather not. Oh, say it. Let, in case he doesn't know what happened to you. It was in Australia. Say it anyhow. All right, his name was Graham Holdsworth. Isn't and he sorry now? He's in the audience right now. Graham! Come on now! I bet when he saw, saw your physical video, he's a little sorry now, Graham. Puff, puff. <laughs> feel about the because you made that video for physical the record and it's so sensual and so sexual did you show it to mom and dad i did uh, they liked it actually it was funny i think they saw the humor in it more than anything i miss that <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny though. what about you john do you like you're you're both sex symbols now i mean i find it very hard sometimes to have to carry the weight of that around um, <laughs> I mean, like, every girl you meet is available now, isn't it? I mean, I, I know there's other men that I, I work with. The girls just come over the transom for them. No, it's not necessarily true. I proposed to someone once, and they rejected me. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, who? <laughs> None of your business. <laughs> <laughs> really? Because you've never married? Yeah, I never married, but I did propose. And you really were serious? Mm hmm What about you, Olivia? Why don't you get married? You're happy, you're successful, you're 35. Because she has too many rings. <laughs> no, it's Why time. Don't... don't you think it's time? Well, I think it depends on... I mean, that's very personal. That's a very yes. personal feeling that you have. I think to get married is, um, for me, is when I want to have a family. But don't you think it's time that you're 35? Yeah. I mean, you know, I've no offense. I've got a few years left. You've got and four years left, and then... Uh, no, look at that. No, you have maybe 140 eggs left in you. <laughs> I, 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 Just do that. Well, you can have, yeah, but you look too nice just to have a baby and not get married. You look like, no, you, and she is so good. You wouldn't want Olivia Newton-John to have, you know, like a, a, a love child. You want to be married and a Christmas card. <laughs> oh, really? You know what I mean? I did have a proposition from a Beverly Hills woman that said she would pay big bucks to have my sperm put in a little deal, and she, I wouldn't have to make love to her or anything. She just... I know, you never answered. I was so... <laughs> your boutique but before just in case you run out of time because you have this oh, great yeah. boutique with the clothes because you're both into clothing now yeah. right but yeah. tell us because you do so many things mm -hmm. tell me though a little bit about two of a kind because you bought a clip and that's really why you're here <laughs> not that i don't love you olivia explains it better than i do because i have a limited vocabulary <laughs> oh sure <laughs> the movie is um it's, the reason we chose it to cut a long story short is that it was very different 
It's a different kind of script. It's not a musical. And it was the first time that we had a chance to do a film that wasn't a musical because everyone believed, hopefully, that our chemistry works without the music. So, um, it's a... And it's hardcore. Oh, great! <laughs> great! No, it's a little bit of, a little bit of fantasy and a, um, a bit of adventure, and it's fun. I think it's a, it's a family entertainment film. And we get to play rather bad people, so we play against ourselves, That's which the, is good the most fun. clever part of it. What, it's a bit what? tough, you know, we play a bit of good. Because we have a sort of a good image, I think. At oh, least we did before the show. Before the show. <laughs> you have a wonderful <laughs> American, <laughs> healthy image, you know. Yeah. Set, can you set up the clip for us? Can you tell us what the clip is? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, if it's the one I think it is. Uh, John came to rob the bank where I was the teller. And unbeknownst, he thinks that I've given him the money, but actually I took it. So he comes to give me what is coming to me. Okay. This is Olivia Newton John, John Travolta in Two of a Kind. You're not starving, are you? The window's the only way out. Is it really a good idea to bring the police into this? This is the operator. May I help you? Operator. Where's the money? What money? Get it. I don't have it. Get it! Spent it. On what? Ah, what? I bought a stereo. I had clothes to buy. It was the last time you went shopping. How much is left? Three thousand dollars. How much? What are you doing? Oh, uh, no, no, that, that's typecasting, isn't it? Will you put those down? Don't do that! They're irreplaceable. That's every plane, oh. everything I've ever done. Irreplaceable, huh? <laughs> How much? I told you, 3000 How much? All right, 5000 5000 I don't believe it. Okay, 8600 8600 that's all there is, I swear. 8600 Get it. Get it! Do you know I got fired because of you today? They fired me because you had the gold to rob my window. Can you believe that? Ugh. These are terrible. <laughs> Great The chemistry show works between the two of you. Oh, when is it open? December 16th. December 16th. Oh, I wish you such luck. Will you come back again? Thank but don't you. scam me. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank oh, you, what a pleasure to have the two of you on. Oh. Looking couple. Two healthy young people by any means. Mm. Healthy young, nice people. Yes. That's what makes it so nice. 